Tokyo Drift. Boo. Your favorite movie of all time. Is this the one that you needed to complain to me about? Um, well, so this one and The Fast and the Furious. Fast and or, Furious. I don't know if it's called. No, it does. Oh, one, no, one Fast, One Furious, Two Fast, Two Furious, The Fast and the Three Furious. All these stupid movies. They all are so dumb. No. Each one is worse than before. No. Except you're for you right. So Tokyo dumb. Drift is the worst one. Number two is the worst one. So well, no, 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 of, no, no. Out of the I watched, watched this, and I, it took me so long to get through this movie, and yeah. then I remember thinking, oh, remember the good old days when it was just too fast, too furious. <laughs> I want to go back to that. I want to watch that movie again. No. So out of the four that we've watched so far, number one yep. is the best. Then yep. number I'll four. Agree with that. Then number three. Then number oh, two. Then number two. Then number three. You got two and three switched. Yeah. I, the thing I enjoy about number three is it's uh, more practical. Number two used so much CGI. It looked awful. At least in number three, they were actually doing the drifting. And if your movie is focused on that, you have to do that well. Like it's a, If you saw a YouTube video of people doing that stuff, you'd be like, oh, this is pretty cool. Like The story is garbage, admittedly. But None of it makes sense. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go through the story. Tell me, tell me what. Okay, so takes. this takes place in an alternate universe in Tokyo, <laughs> where for some reason high school kids run the city. <laughs> Everything is run by high school kids. Uh -huh. let's. Well, let's start. Let's. What? How? How do? How do we get to? And Tokyo? that's it. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> let's start from the beginning. High school kids are the yakuza. <laughs> Except you're, for one adult. You're wrong. But let's start from the beginning. Okay. So this takes place in the same universe <laughs> as Home Improvement. <laughs> and uh, this this freaking doofusy dude yeah. uh, races. What's his actual name? His name is Zach. Lucas Blatt. Oh, it, oh, wait. Who are we talking about? The kid from oh, Home Improvement. Oh, yeah. He's Zach, uh, Zachary Ty Bryant. Brian Zachary Ty Brian, I believe is his name. What was his name in the in the show in Home Improvement? In the show, it whoa. They all had the same first letter, didn't they? Mark. Oh man, what was? Oh, it? Randy was the middle one. Was the older one? Was it Zach? It wasn't Zach in that. No, it was. Oh my gosh! I'll look what it up. His name? I'll look it up. Keep talking about uh, the movie. So they're at school. Okay, so he... Oh, I hate this so much. <laughs> so Lucas um, is at school, and he... And by the way, that's the doofus I'm talking about. Oh, you hate the doofus? doofus that... Oh, you sucked. I felt like I needed uh, subtitles for what he was saying in English. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. He's from uh, Blair, Missouri. Blair, 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 Anyways, he, he's like flirting with, oh god, I don't even remember. There's a girl that he's interested in or Brad. is interested in him. It's Brad. Brad. Yeah, that's right. He seems like a Brad. He's definitely a Brad. Yeah, he, he's getting in his car and the girl who's sitting on the Viper. Is that what it was? Yeah. Which is like an eighty thousand dollar car. Like I don't I don't know. My my family's not like poor and they bought me my first car. But they didn't buy me an eighty thousand dollar car. Like I don't know how rich you have to be to be at that level. Uh uh I know some kids like that. Do you? Like Viper level? Because that's uh, That's a lot of money. Oh, uh, probably not quite Viper level. I mean, I imagine if they wanted a Viper, they could probably get one. Yeah, but because I wanted a Viper my family my also did. bought me my first car. No, your family like, bought you your they, first air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> I remember three hundred dollars, and they, it did not run. Well, they wanted you to fix it. 
Yeah, that's that was what the they, point. That was that was the story. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that's a pretty that's normal this, thing. A lot of people fix her up or to someone who has no desire in cars or to fix things up <laughs> or knows how to do any of it. Well, they were hoping that if you had it, then you would learn how, and then you might be a uh, benefit to society. But oh, look at look at me now. Yeah. Now, what do you do? You you, I you go places. To no one. And you say, if the ground is flat. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. I ran Columbus out of town. You ran Columbus out of town? The yeah, Explorer? Never it was a joke. I have no idea. I'm not I'm not in your uh your your work lingo. It's not a work joke. You ran Columbus. You just out made of town. the comment about t- talking about if the earth was flat. I mean, no, Columbus if the joke. ground was flat. Which is earth. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not asking you we're not talking look, about flat earth. Look, it's beside the point. Okay? None of it matters. But wait, isn't that what it you do? Matter. Don't you survey the ground and tell them how much stuff they're going to need to make it flat? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that wasn't like I wasn't making stuff up. Sure. <laughs> it's not my fault you don't know what you do. I, no one knows what I do. I do, apparently. Anyways. <laughs> <sighs> he He's like... This girl's interested in him. This other Zachary Ty Bryan is, of course, super jealous, and he's like the popular kid. And they're both dumb and stupid, and they made a really stupid movie together called Tokyo Drift. Well, let's let's give and a little s- more information. She's and he's s- got a, a Monte Carlo, I believe, and she's like, sure. "Oh, nice car." For some reason, it didn't look nice. It is a nice car, but it was a piece of junk that he yeah. had. Right, like he's fixing it up. So I don't know if she was like messing with him or if it was implying that she knew what she was talking about, but he started talking That's to how her I took it. and uh, then Zachary, Zach Brad shows up and he's like, hey, what are you Zach doing? Brad. Don't talk to my girl. And he's like, well, she was talking to me. And then they are about to about, fight. Hey, this is America. This isn't Tokyo. You don't run this town. <laughs> They're about to get in a fist fight. He's got a wrench. He's got like a size twenty, uh, open socket wrench, open open not open socket open head. What yeah. do you call that? And uh, open socket. It's not open socket, is it? That's not a socket. Close socket. Open box. O- open bocker. Box wrench. O- open bocker. Yes. <laughs> open bocker. Uh, he's about to beat five guys with a, a wrench, and she's like, "Hey, why don't you guys settle this in your cars? Winner can have me." I was like, oh, Which, you're in high s- school. What? Yeah, like, so this many is, issues. This is gross. The first one being Zachary Ty Bryant is literally racing for no prize. Yeah. Because the girl's already his. Yep. So he's he's just racing to not lose his girl. Yeah. And if he wins, nothing changes. And if the other guy loses, nothing changes. Yeah. He loses nothing. Also, ugh, are you that? Uh, I don't even know. Like you're like, yeah, no, that's fine. Let's just race for me. I admit that I am a piece of property. Yeah, and winner of this race has me. Oh man, it was it's gross in any way you could. <laughs> in, in a non funny way, it reminds me of The Office when Andy and Dwight are gonna fight over Angela. Yeah. And they're like, Angela, come on, do something. She's just like, I will respect the result of the duel. <laughs> yeah. Didn't she say also that she's like, this is the second time someone's fought over me like this? <laughs> or dueled yeah. over me? Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, so they go and they race in a construction yard. Or a construction neighborhood. Like a, it's okay. like a housing development. Yeah. And I thought this they, race was pretty cool. Nope, they destroy the place. Yeah, but it's... Uh, there was... This race is better... About it I hated. This race is better than any of the other races from the first two movies. Um... They all blend together because they all suck. But, but yeah, no. That's, that's what I'm saying. This, one, this is a good... Like, for it being just a straight-out drag race, this is the best one so far in the series. Let's talk about how irresponsible it is to have the girl in the car, though. That's yeah. I had a problem with that. One being gonna kill her. safety. Yeah. 
Two being weight. You're just adding the weight to the vehicle. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> well, he thought for sure he was going to win. No problem. And he should have won. <clears throat> I would I would think... I mean, I don't know what he did to the Monte Carlo. But I would think a he stock... He put a Viper vi- engine in it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe that's what he did. I would think a stock Viper would be anything that a high school student would put in their car. Yeah, someone with no money, no anything, and only has, like, very limited resources. Yeah. Like, I'm sure he's got you, skills, right? That's fine. I, I can buy that a high school student could be the best mechanic in the world, right? Like, I get mm-hmm. that. I'm not... That, to me, isn't a question. But if you're poor and you don't have money, a stock Viper is going to be really hard to beat just with ingenuity. Like, that's not... It's not the way the world works. Right. You know what I mean? Like, no matter how good of a bicycle mechanic I am, doesn't mean I'll ever beat a motorcycle. Exactly. You can't you can't just make things work that way. But he ends up Everything winning. Everything comes back to the motorcycle. <laughs> he ends up winning. Lucas wins, just barely. Drives oh, through but, a house. <laughs> yeah, so see, how many, like, houses did they destroy? Like, the damage on those had to be... I feel like astronomical, not just because of all the the materials that would need to be replaced, but like more than likely you're taking out like load bearing beams and different things. Like I feel like at that stage in house development, they would almost have to rebuild the whole thing. The one that he drove through, yeah, 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 yeah. The that one, one he was drove done. through. Um, like that's a whole house. Yeah, yeah. No, he destroyed that house entirely. Uh. Well, that was a practical effect. That was a real car, not through a real house necessarily. Like it was built to be destroyed that way. But oh like, yeah, no, I'm not impressed by that though. Really? I love practical. He drove work. through some two by fours. <laughs> yeah, but it looked cool. Like it's visually <laughs> impressive to see. Eh. But like when you go, you so watch. I that. wonder why your bar is so low on certain movies. <laughs> well, okay, so. Part of it is that my bar is so low. I go in to watch in Tokyo Drift, and I'm like, all right, this is just kind of a goofy movie. Like, I'm, my expectations are set low. And so when they do things that movies that are good should do but don't because they're lazy, I'm like, oh, wow, that's awesome. Like, that's a, that's a cool effect. That's a cool stunt. And then you see movies that are you expect to be good, and they cut corners or do CGI stunts or do things that aren't visually impressive like wow that's disappointing this should have been way better how is tokyo drift able to do something so cool sometimes and yet you don't you don't even get that close i don't know if there's anything in not just tokyo drift yeah but the whole franchise that i would ever describe as so cool the stunts in this one were cool in tokyo drift Mm, no way the drifting is awesome no you're crazy I just watching it and, and I don't know a lot about it, so I'm probably wrong. I'm sure, but I'm watching them do drift on like every conceivable turn. I'm like, I feel like most of these turns would be faster if you just took the turn. Some of them would be for sure. No, you're right. I get that. like that. There's certain where the drifting was like helpful. Yeah, but not every single turn. <laughs> yeah, which is no. what it turned into. Yeah. No, you're right. Some of them were inconvenient. But also some of them were for training and just like they were doing it to drift as like a practice thing more than anything. The only the the only part in any of these races that I would even say is like, okay, that was not bad was that like last turn that they make like going up what I don't know, what is it, like the parking garage? Yeah. And it's that it's like barely enough for their car to fit essentially. And they're drifting up so they sideways or whatever. That's that's pretty cool. They, I'll, I'll give you that. They were going to do that. They were going to cheat that. They were going to like build a big setup and film it in a certain way to make it look like that. And the yeah. driver's like, I can do it for real. And then he's like, no, I don't. The director's like, let's, no, let's not do that. Let's just cheat it and move on because I don't want to destroy a bunch of cars. He's like, just give me one shot. And the guy did that first take. Really? Yeah. It's super okay. impressive. 
That's right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're they're racing in the construction area. Crash! All the cars are destroyed. Everybody's dead. Like oh yeah, he crashed into like that concrete thing. Yeah, him, him and the girl are dead. Both died like, like, immediately yeah. on dead on arrival. And then Lucas rolls his Monte Carlo that doesn't have a roll cage ten times. Should be dead. But Should no. be dead. Head We're... crushed, broken neck. Yeah. Need the jaws of life just to get his remains out for the family. <laughs> They're going probably over 100 miles an hour. Oh, for sure. Yeah, there's like no way you're surviving that. I also want to talk about how irresponsible not just these teenagers are, but like in a lot of these movies, like the crowds at these races, yeah. especially at like the finish line. I'm like, hey, you better hope he stops in time. These dudes are going full top speed. Especially on that last stretch, and you just want to stand there, like, because what? It's the finish line, so of course they'll be stopped. Come on, it's it's so ridiculous to me how people just stand in the way. Yeah, but have you ever? They seen should be dead. That like people do that all the time. I that that's my point. It's so stupid. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just saying it's dumb in the movie. But oh people- no, it's I'm sure it's it's dumb in real life. Here's another question I have, and maybe you can answer because I'm not a street racing expert, yeah. but it seems to be so far prevalent in all the movies. Mm-hmm. When you're racing, whether it's like for fun or for like winner gets a job or winner gets a girl, whatever it is, <laughs> is it, winner is gets it a girl acceptable races. to ram other cars? I, f- I felt like that's like frowned upon, like that's dirty, but it seemed to be standard. So is that just a st- like you can hit other people's cars and run them like you know smash into them and that's fine um i don't know i'm not you, you're not supposed to in like professional races well no not like nascar but like mm-hmm. street races i would imagine like that's not, not see is that if you did it, or is that just part of the game no if you did it i'm sure they would not want to race you again because they all do it everyone does it well the thing is it's all illegal so it's not like we're gonna report you to the commission because you cheated, but they might be like, no, "Hey, you risked my life. You, I'm gonna you kick the crap race, out of you now." If you like <clears throat> damaged someone's vehicle and you ran them off the road, you just kept hitting them, whatever, and then you won a race. Yeah, would that seem tainted because you did that, or would it not matter? I would imagine so. I would imagine. No one seems to care. Yeah, I don't know. No one's like, "Hey, man, you can't do that." I like, don't know. Yeah, this is illegal, but we have a code. Why? Well, I, I think you're right. I think they do have a code, but I don't think that no one follows. What are they? A bunch of pirates? <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you, Taylor. I'm Answer trying, my question. I'm trying to say you're you right. made me watch these movies. I want answers. <laughs> I'm trying to say that you're right. I don't think you would end up racing again. Like, I, I'm not sure what you wanted their response to be. Just to be like, hey, 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 don't do that. Yes. Like, oh, hey, look. Cause no, you if you want to... So you, you didn't win the race. If you want to jump ahead to the fourth movie, Brian, oh, Brian does say, hey, that's not cool. You know I would have beat you straight up, but you cheated. Does it say that? I just yeah. I thought I remember Vin Diesel kind of hit him and he him making like a comment like he's, a, oh, he's still, still a boomer, still oh, a boomer. Still oh buster, buster that's what it was <laughs> yeah. like haha old freaking Diesel still wrecking my cars. No, Vin Diesel said that. Vin Diesel oh, see, spun I, Brian out. <laughs> and he this said, is how much I don't even care. He's still a buster. <laughs> Anyways, back to Tokyo Drift. We're still in the first five minutes of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, yeah, you're right. Because even after the first five minutes, I felt like it had been hours. It had not been. <laughs> uh, so he he's going to get arrested. The other kids are fine because they're rich. So lazy commentary on society, but whatever. Oh yeah, it's 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 a cop out for sure. It's yeah. So it, explain why. Like, is your dad the chief of police? Is, is your dad like part of the mafia and they pay off guys? They are the cops. Why Why do you get off and this guy doesn't? I need Lawyers, more than just because I you're mean, rich. The bottom, the, like the first step is good lawyers. 
<laughs> then posting bail is another one. You know, like right. that's fine. Then there's you know social clout. There's pool inside of the community. Like, oh well, he's given this much money to build this thing, so let's just just play it cool. Like, we'll give him a slap on the wrist, but he's let's not actually send him to jail because of what his dad did for him. Like, they, it, it's not. It's not like it's wrong. It's not like they just made it up. This stuff happens. But the way they did it, it was very forced. And the theme of that isn't really throughout this movie. So, it, like, they establish you're poor, Lucas. You're poor, so you don't have options. The rich yeah. kids do have options because they're rich. And then that was it. Like, that, that wasn't something he had to overcome. It was just the device to get him to Tokyo which was yeah. which I have a big problem with this okay he gets to Tokyo and shows up at his dad's house and his dad's got a prostitute and he's like oh Lucas what are you doing here I thought you were getting here on the oh, date and this whole like, misunderstanding about the date and time was yeah, the yeah. stupidest yeah. thing he goes I thought you were getting here on the 8th and Lucas is like yeah I am he's like oh well we're ahead of you and I was like that means the 8th has already passed. You, you've already done extreme, it, and you didn't get yesterday. him when you thought he was coming. Like, yeah, it should have been like, hey, I thought you were going to be here yesterday. Yeah, he should have Yeah, that's he should have been like, man, I was, I was waiting at the airport all day yesterday. I didn't know what happened. I couldn't call your mom. But he was just like, oh, we're ahead of you. It's okay. And it's like, no, that doesn't make any sense. It only works going the other way. Ugh, so like if dumb. He, he went to America and yeah. got there early, he would be there day early. Yeah, then it would make sense. But that was. But even then, not not really, because I feel like it's well, no, I I don't even know. It's understood. Like, hey, I'm sending you our son. Um, he's leaving this day. Like, you figure out when that is for you. Yeah. Well, I understand <laughs> the confusion of it all. Because, like, I do a lot of podcasts with people, and we set up times and dates and stuff. Oh, and you do podcasts? Okay. <laughs> and it's very hard to keep track. Like, me and you have issues all the time. I'm like, hey, we're good for tomorrow, right? Well, it'll be your Tuesday morning, but it'll be yeah. my Tuesday night. I'm like, we're good for tomorrow. And you're like, I thought it's today. And then, like, things will get all crossed and stuff like that. So, like, I, I get the confusion, but the the reasoning of oh we're ahead of you makes zero sense no it made no sense because he's like oh you're late not you're early because that was his reaction was like oh i thought you're getting here tomorrow or what he could have <sighs> said was oh i thought you were leaving on the 8th in america not getting here on the 8th in japan you know what I mean? Or like they could have just left it out because it, it it did nothing for the plot, other than immediately start them off with some tension. Or or just have the him let, send out the prostitute and be like, "Oh man, I'm sorry, I I totally forgot you're coming today," and then you're good. You don't need some dumb explanation. It does, yeah, of it does the have time. To be a time difference. Yeah, just have him be a jerk, and like that's it. Because that was the point of it, right? The whole point of that scene was to establish one, the dad's a dirtbag, and it's the reason why his mom and dad divorce and split up, and he's in Japan, and he doesn't think about his son. That was their goal with that scene. They just made it dumb by adding in the time zone stuff. They also made the whole movie dumb. So now Lucas is in Japan, goes to school, and this school is nuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this whole the whole town is run by these kids. <laughs> it's so it makes no sense to me. Yeah. Uh, it, it in so, a world where you acknowledge that the yakuza is real, mm -hmm. they don't let you run things. But the thing this is, is the uh, thing the thing is, your frustration doesn't work so well when the movie like commented on that a bunch of times about how oh well, he's just pretending he's yakuza he's not actually but like, it's not it's just him uncle. it's everyone it's they it's all, all the high school kids the high school <sighs> kids are like oh he's like legit dangerous because of his uncle 
but the world doesn't treat him that way and even you look at his uh, little office space it's like so small and cramped and like you look at the way he responds to his uncle and how all that stuff goes down like it's very clear that he knows he doesn't have any real power he just likes flexing the little bit that he has to his high school friends I don't buy it <laughs> also okay yeah. Han yes he's an is adult is he in high school? no what's he doing hanging out with these kids? I don't know it's freaking weird yeah that was bothersome. Ugh. Yeah, that that is that is strange. What did okay. you think of uh, Little Bow Wow? Oh, awful! Of course, really? I thought he was like one no, of the better actually, actors. He, in the movie. Yeah, he wasn't that bad. He like he he was a breath of fresh air. You got Ludacris, Ja Rule, and Bow Wow in the first three movies. He did. I better think than he was. Ludacris wasn't he still Little Bow Wow at the time? Probably. I believe so. He was still a little guy. Um, he did better than the other two. Like he stood out less than the other two. <sighs> yeah, w- yeah. I mean, Ja Rule didn't do a very good job. Ludacris did okay, but his role was so goofy that it's kind of hard to like buy him. Little Bow Wow yeah. was just like another high school student, and you're like, all right, this is fine. You know what I mean? Like, he, he's he was over, believable. Yeah. He's over the top, but that you you know people like that. You know what I'm saying? Like. It doesn't seem like he's over the top ridiculous. It just seems like, oh, he's just an obnoxious personality, anyways. Uh, of course. Oh, also, yeah. He goes by Twinkie, or he, his his name is Twinkie, which is what I assume is a nickname. But then they also have like a shorter nickname for that nickname, and they just call him Twink all the time. Mm. That that was an interesting choice. That's weird because Twinkie is like a insult. To Asian people, is it? Yeah, you're yellow on the outside but white on the inside. It's like calling a black person an Oreo. Oh right. <clears throat> I didn't catch that his name was Twinkie. I doubt that. Was yeah. What the reference was, but no, probably not. Well, who knows? I don't know. I have no idea. <clears throat> um. Anyways, so uh, this movie's dumb, <laughs> well, and okay. all that happens. Oh my! Stop trying to jump ahead. <laughs> you keep. Brush it oh no, I'm not jumping ahead because it's it. dumb start to finish. Uh, Lucas is at, or so Twinkie, or Twink takes him to uh, <laughs> takes him to the underground street racing where they're gonna drift. He gets in a a thing with DK, who DK stands for Drift King, which stupid dumb name. Yep. It's a DK is a dumb dumb name. I'll give you that. But uh, they like get into this thing because Lucas is checking out his girl, who his dad is raised, also his uncle Ray owned, owned, owned by her boyfriend. Very strange. Um, and she's Australian, and I could not stand her accent in this. I had a hard time listening to her. I don't like, I don't like when there's more than two different you accents like in a movie. I don't like Australians, but I don't like when there's like a bunch of different accents yeah. because. I have to work really hard to understand a, an accent. That's how I felt with Lucas Black. And so when I'm doing it with two, I'm like, all right, I can kind of like juggle this. But when you start adding an extra ones, I'm like, wait, I have to keep shifting how my brain is processing what's being said so I can keep up. And it's like with Black Panther, I had a really hard time with Killmonger because he had the most uh, unique accent out of everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, like you have the Wakandan accent and then just the normal American accent American I think and Claw oh, yeah his was uh, South African huh there's a lot of accents in that movie but I, I like yeah. every time uh, Killmonger would speak it like lock my brain up I had a hard time like shifting to like listen to him and go back and forth mm. interesting it's, I think it's because I'm racist yeah, for sure. Um, but so he's Lucas and DK are arguing, and DK's like, "You're lucky I'm about to race." And Lucas is like, "So let's race then." Lucas doesn't have a car, 
He doesn't Keep have in mind, he's also been forbidden from racing from yeah. his father. He's been forbidden from getting into a car from his dad. Oh, that's right. And that's right. Then Han is like, here, take my car. Which is hey, like... Hey, kid. What? What makes you think that he, one, knows how to drive at all, and two, is trustworthy in your car? And he ends up, later in the movie, he says, like, Sacrificing a car to know what a person's made out of is worth it, if you ask me. Why do you yeah, want to know what this, of money. this guy's made out of? Like, he just seems like a jerk who's, like, trying to fight exactly. everyone. Like, he doesn't seem like, oh, he's he's of high character. I'm curious, and maybe he's a, a good guy to be around. He's just like, oh, this guy is just aggressive. So, another dumb, another dumb line... So when he sees uh, the girl, uh, Nila, right? Uh, Nina? Was it Nina? I thought it was Nila. It might be. Anyways, he sees her, she says something to him, and he goes, oh, Nila, right? She's like, you're a quick learner. Because he learned your name? (laughs) Is that like a skill? Yes. Oh, the dialogue was really stupid. I did enjoy his Japanese, though, because it was so bad. He was so bad at it. He didn't have any of the the inflection. tones or anything, any yeah. of the correct inflection. He's just like, just so flat. And when he said everything, I was like, "Ooh, you're not saying any of these words correctly." It's jarring. Uh, yeah. So uh, they race. He loses very badly because of all the turns that yeah. he. Apparently, if you can't drift, you can't even make a turn in this country. <laughs> That that's a valid point that I didn't think of. He it was like he, he just was like crashing and yeah. s- almost killing people. The so he's going full speed in a parking garage and then is surprised when the parking garage ends and tries to turn but can't keep up and crashes into a pole. You would if I'm in a parking garage, I can see the wall coming. I'm not going to be surprised. I know a turn's coming. Yeah. I don't know that, like, maybe uh, uh, drifting is optimal or what, but I still can turn. Yeah, I would slow down enough to be able to turn and then get passed by the guy drifting and be like, oh, what? How did he do that? Mm. And then maybe try it and then maybe crash, but definitely yeah. not in the very beginning like that. That's crazy. Mm-mm. But he, he keeps trying to drift and he keeps failing. And you're definitely right. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have tried to drift. He should have just driven normally and failed horribly, and then adapted. But anyways, it he loses the race, destroys the car, destroys that car. Um. Oh gosh, I'm trying to think of what even happens next. Uh, so Han is like, "Hey, you owe me a car. Don't leave town." He goes back to school. Twink is fighting that. That guy from Westworld? Did you recognize him? The guy from Westworld. Uh, the Asian guy from Westworld. The guy who like fixes the robots. Oh, was that him? Yeah. I did not notice that. Yeah, it's the same guy. It's very okay. weird. Um, but they're fighting. Twinkie gets mad because Lucas gives him an iPad or an iPod, an iPod Mini, yeah. the colored ones. Man, that, that was like a. A flashback or like a uh, nostalgia flash yeah. thing you know what I'm saying like I was like oh man I haven't remembered those things for a long time um, but so then they go and meet up with Han and Han's like hey come with me you're gonna drive for me now and they start working together and then uh, Han teaches Lucas how to drift and people keep talking about drifting like it's a uh, martial art almost like oh well, yeah, everyone has their own style of drifting and all this dumb stuff, and like it's a way of life, not just a technical skill, right? Um, and I hated all the the montage scenes of him like learning and and gradually getting better, and it's showing like the surrounding people like watching him. This and I'm like, I feel like if that were real life. I would have called the cops like so many times. I'm like, look, this dude's back. He's crashing into everything. This is not like a racetrack. We're trying to get work done. I'm trying to Can finish. we do something about this? Free? Yeah, exactly. Not just like, he's getting better. So the guy fishing was actually 
the original DK in real life, at least according to the director, that that guy was one of the first drifters who like figured it out and like elevated the sport. And so that was like a cameo for him. That's why it felt so out of place. And they like put too much attention on it because if you know who it is, right? Like you say, say it's a movie about basketball and then like off to the side, you see Michael Jordan watching the kid learn and you see it and you're like, oh, that's a cool nod to Michael Jordan. Like they're not pretending like it's Michael Jordan in the movie, but you know automatically. You'd be like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. But if you don't know who the person is, you're just like, why do they keep cutting back to this guy? This is dumb. I, I thought maybe you would say something at that point. I feel like you, you're not here anymore. I don't know if that's you texting me or not, but I can't hear anything you're saying if you're saying anything. <clears throat> All right, well, we will be right back. Um, here's... One, right. zero. Oh. <laughs> I count down so you know when we're live. <laughs> Not so you can step all over when I try to talk. I, this is a group effort. Is it? It doesn't feel like it sometimes. Uh, Taylor's computer crashed. He had to restart. But we're back. We're still alive. Fortunately, so is Taylor. Sadly. Um, why can't I hear you, but I can't see anything being... Because there's nothing to see. Oh, there you are. Okay. Um, so, where were we? They, uh, Han Oh, is that's right. Did you, hear, did you hear my whole Michael Jordan analogy, or did you... Did I lose no. you before that? You didn't? Oh, I didn't so hear good. anything about Michael Jordan. Was it so good? I'll, it I'll, try to, I'll try to say it quickly so I don't have to bore the audience for hearing it a second time. But the... The guys, the guys fishing, that guy was an actual drift person. Like, people in the drift community knew who that was. And they would always cut back to him because he was important to the community. But as someone, as when you watch it and you don't know who he is, it just comes across as weird because it doesn't make yeah. any sense. But if you're watching a movie about basketball and a kid was learning how to play basketball and they're cutting back to Michael Jordan who wasn't playing Michael Jordan, he was just a character, you'd be like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's like a nice nod. Like, right, okay. You know? And so that was why they kept cutting back to the fishermen. It's dumb gotcha. because, again... Because we don't, don't know who that is. Yeah, so it's like, it, it's nice. It's a nice thing, but it, it feels so awkward because you have no idea. Um, but yeah, so he, he Lucas learns how to drift, and it all comes back to the end where DK and Lucas are drift racing to repay a debt that Han owed the Yakuza, and the Yakuza is going to kill them if... So, let's... Wins. Okay, so, first off, uh, let's go back. So, Lucas... Or, what's his name in this movie? Lucas? Han? Yeah. DK? No, Lucas. Twink? Lucas? Lucas is his real-life name. I'm trying to remember his name in the movie. Sean? Oh, yeah. Sean, yeah, is it? Am I even calling him the wrong name this whole time? Sean Dum Dum. <laughs> Let me see. What Sean. were you going to say about him? Okay, so he races and beats uh, DK's number two guy. Yeah. And that guy. guy throws the biggest hissy fit I've ever seen. <laughs> that was, was funny. He was very dramatic. Uh, okay, so then we see... Uh, the uncle, who mm -hmm. is a, a top Yakuza guy. He's a legit Yakuza, yeah. Yakuza. Yeah, he's legit uh, Yakuza. He comes to see his nephew. It is Sean, and by the way. It is Sean? Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it Sean Dum Dum, like I thought? It is Sean Boswell. Dum Dum, got it. So he comes to see his nephew and basically says, Hey, you. one of your partners is stealing from you. And he's like, nah. He's like, I would have noticed. And it, something, his excuse was like, it must not be that much or I would notice. Like, as if, like, That's stealing a small amount is fine. Yeah. Let's, let's not downplay the Yakuza. They are essentially the cartel. You know, they will, 
I feel like it's if you steal from the Yakuza, it's not something that like you get to repay. They just kill you. Yeah. And then like they'll make your family repay, or they'll just kill your family, and then you get to repay, and then they kill you. Like it's not. Or they're not like they kill you, just and then like, they make you repay. It's one of those options. <laughs> um, okay, but you're gonna so, pay no matter what. So Han, Han is his partner, but in what? What is it? What is it? What is their partnership? Collecting money. It looked like. So, that wasn't for Han. I thought that was like money that people owed Han. It see it didn't. <clears throat> so it, it did not my, make sense to me. My guess is. It's the Yakuza's turf, which is what Han says at one point. Like, this is his uncle's area. Okay. His nephew is collecting money for him, for the Yakuza. So he's going around like, hey, give me money, or my uncle's going to show up and really make your life terrible. So they're, yeah. they're like, okay, here, here's money. He's keep He gets to keep some of that money for himself, <laughs> passes everything else off to his uncle. Han is working with the nephew with dk not necessarily four but like side by side but okay. reporting or like sending the money through dk to the uncle the uncle's like hey he's got something going on the side that's we're not getting he's he's using us to make money for himself but not passing it on that's a problem and dk is like oh no so then that's when he goes and fights with them chases right. them and gets him killed. So, uh, uh, okay. Han really was stealing, though, right? Yeah, Han's like, "That's what we do." <laughs> that so, was his. <laughs> it's a cool so respect. That's he, what we do. What are his redeeming qualities, Mister? Oh, I let you hair. wreck my car, so I can see what kind of person you are. By the way, I'm a bad person. Yep, pretty much. Han had... He's Vin Diesel's friend, we find out. Oh, okay, uh, we'll talk about that. <laughs> oh, boy, will we talk about that. So anyways, there's a big uh, showdown at the garage. And Little Bow Wow saves everyone by dropping the, the, the sliding door thing. Yes. They take off. There apparently is no police presence in here because there's all these cars and people racing and blah, 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 blah. chasing. Okay, now, I don't remember if it ever explicitly said, but to be honest, this movie was driving me nuts because mm. the dialogue, the talking was so quiet, it was very hard for me to hear it. Oh, did you they, turn up your volume? I had to, and then <laughs> I had to crank it down whenever there was a racing scene because that was uh, super yeah. loud. Oh, it was driving me nuts. So, during that uh, scuffle, mm. that friend is definitely dead, right? That dude crashed head on to another vehicle. The one DK's, you know, number oh, two yeah, guy yeah. or whatever he is. Yeah, he doesn't come back, does he? Or is I don't, he at the final race? I don't believe he's there. I'm pretty sure he's... He should be dead. They don't, I, but I feel they like don't everyone say who, who crashes cars should die in these movies. All of these people should be dead. Mm -hmm. But that dude smashed, like you said, not only is he dead, but he killed the whole family <laughs> of people that were in that car. Yeah. And it's uh, it, it's something that drives me nuts. Right? This kind of behavior is super reckless for everyone involved because you're putting innocent people's lives, you know, in jeopardy because you're either racing or you're running from someone or you're chasing someone whatever it may be hmm. but it's it's fine because the person who crashes is the bad guy right yeah and so we don't see any of those like there's no repercussions mm -hmm. but that could have easily just been like the good guy or you know supposed good guy or whatever like you just killed the whole family i hope you're happy yeah i want to see a movie that deals with that i want to see these people on trial <laughs> that would be so boring. I want to see the director of this movie on trial. <laughs> Justin Lin. Justin Lin. Who is also the director of number four, by the way. I saw I saw that. Uh, so, anyways, I that, that guy had to have died. I think had so. to. I think that's probably fair. 
Uh, and, and that's fine. They're just like, oh, another high school kid dead because the whole town is run by him, so of course. <laughs> well, so him, so uh, Sean and Nina, Ningla, run off yes. to... <laughs> yes, I am positive <laughs> it's Ningla. <laughs> I don't think that's what I said, but... Um, oh, they, yeah, you did. They run off to Sean's dad's house because Sean moved out and moved in with Han. Now they're trying to hide there. For DK, like a day. DK finds them. And pulls a gun on Sean, and Sean's dad pulls a gun on DK, and it's like you're gonna want to get out of here. Uh, Ningla leaves with DK, and then the dad's like, "You're going back yeah. home." And Sean's oh, like, oh, "Hold on, wait, let me let me get through this." Sean's like, "No, this is a mess. I started. You gotta let me fix it." If that was my kid, and someone pulled a gun out on them in the middle of the street, in like nine o'clock at night or whatever time it was, like no. You're not fixing this. You you tried to fix it and got yourself to this point. You're done. You're going so, yeah, to prison. Yeah. You're leaving the country. You are getting out of this situation any way I can get you out of it. But no, you, you're you not. You going are going to... back to just race and Zachary Ty Brian. <laughs> but the dad ends up giving him a car so he can <sighs> use it to race DK and uh, win uh. honor back. Okay, so let's 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 talk about this scene. He shows up, yeah, at, at the dad's house, and he's trying to get in. There's no answer. Then there's DK, and he pulls a gun on him. Yeah, because again, Lucas, Sean, whatever, brought it on himself by continuing to hang out with this girl that he knows is not his. Yeah. It's this is other dude's property that's already been stated. <laughs> yeah. In this, he world. knows that's like why this guy hates him so much. Yeah. Yet he does it. She is complicit in the same thing. So then he pulls up and you know, pulls the gun on him, this and that. Then the dad gets the drop on him yeah. and says, like, you know, put the gun down. I wouldn't do that, blah, blah, blah. So basically, like, hey, you won because of your dad. But then the girl still is like, yeah, I'll go with you. Yeah. Well, he, was, he already had to leave. Now you're going to go with him and he was going to do who knows what. Well, I think she was like, all right. So no one shoots each other. I'm just going to go with him, and that will solve the problems. No more pulling guns on each other. If I go, he won't come back. That type of thing. So, fine. You clearly have never been in a hostage situation before. You always Not go with the hostage takers. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> so, So then, yeah, like you said, not only did you get sent here from a different country because of your problem with car racing and yeah. all the problems that you have caused, I then expressly forbid you from racing and being in a vehicle. Yeah. You've continued to break that, and you've made a huge mess. You've run away. And now you you want to keep doing that. So let me just give you a vehicle yeah. to further let you cause more damage. Something that you are I don't think you're really that good at. <laughs> Because you're only <laughs> causing damage. You're not. It's, it's not progressing you your life. Cause, exactly. So more than likely, I'm going to give you this vehicle. You're going to destroy it. Probably going to kill some people. I'm probably going to get in trouble for this. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead. Also, what did he have at stake? Just the, because his friend Han died because he was a criminal uh, who got what was coming to him. What? Why did at that point? He need to have any more involvement with any of these people. Oh, I'm in deep with the Yakuza. You're right, Dad. I'm out of here. Yeah, I I mean... It, if I was the <clears throat> dad, I would probably move too. Like, you know what? They know you're my son. I have to leave the country. Yeah. He, well, there should have been an extra scene of him being like, Dad, I, there's no running away from this. Like... He should have been, his attitude should have been, I want to get out of this, but even if I try, it doesn't mean I'm out. They're going to find me, and they're going to kill me, and it's going to be worse because I ran away. This is a problem I made myself. I have to fix it myself. There's there's nothing else that they I can do. They probably want to kill him just because the, he talked to Han, who was a criminal, and stole their money. That's it. <laughs> nothing else that he was doing. It was already just like you know, Han. We're gonna kill you too. Yeah, it, but he so he takes. I hate how much they downplay the yakuza. The yakuza it yeah. drives me nuts. <laughs> he takes. Well, Justin Lin said he actually hung out with the yakuza to prepare for this movie. 
He's okay, right. so he hung out with a guy who said he was the accuser. <laughs> yeah. But it was really a high school kid. <laughs> um, uh, so Twinkie gives uh, Sean a bag of money to pay back the Yakuza for all the money that Han stole. And this is a okay. weird subplot because it's like a, it's what Han did was bad. Like that wasn't like a yeah. noble thing that Sean is trying to make up for that was yeah. misinterpreted. It's like, no, he He wasn't like Robin Hooding, you know. He yeah, was yeah. stealing for himself. Yeah, he was profiting for himself so he could have a lot of cars and have parties with a And so he models. could see what kind of people other people were. <laughs> that was his whole yeah. he had to fund that weird habit. <laughs> um But yeah, <sighs> so they DK and Sean race. Sean wins, obviously. There's no surprise there. That race was okay, pretty because cool. Sean uh, straight up shows up at like Yakuza headquarters. Yeah. Again, for some reason, isn't killed on the spot. And talks to the uncle and basically <laughs> basically says I hate I hate when this happens in these movies. It always go ahead. We'll race and if I win, your nephew has to leave town. Yeah. And if he wins, then I'll leave town or whatever. Which should be his goal. That should be Sean's yeah. goal. <laughs> the, yeah, he should have just it lost. Be, if, I win, if I win, you let me leave town yeah, alive. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't kill my father. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Yeah. And if I lose, then you just you can keep me here. Yeah, he's like because he, he goes to the uncle and he's like, we've we've embarrassed you, which I thought was actually kind of a a good point because. Face, F A C E, is a, a huge thing in Asian cultures where you, if you disrespect someone or you, you take away their, their, not pride, but like their status, yeah. it's, it's very hard to undo that damage. And so him, him recognizing like, we've been an embarrassment to you and, you know, it's all from our racing. Like, I'm sorry, let us. So let's let us, do another race. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let us do it again, but more and bigger. Um, but the uncle's like, all right, let's do it. And because DK's like, I've already beat him. I don't need to raise him. And the uncle's like, well, then it should be easy. What are you talking about? Just do it. Get it done. The only reason the uncle should have been like, yeah, this is fine. Because in his head, he should have been, whatever, kid, I'm going to kill you anyways. <laughs> do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, it just... <sighs> It's it's weird, man. Um, but so they, so they so yeah so they race. the uh, The uncle is present at the race, which yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah, he would not. Yes. Be oh, that's what the I was asking. Escobar. Wait, hang on. They at the race. There's like groups of kids with their cell phones, all recording. What were they like live streaming? What well, this is the, the most complicated setup that you can't even do now. They like had no, multiple you, camera that's... angles. On yeah, flip that's phones, not possible. And they're like, because everyone's watching the yeah. entire race from one feed, and it's like, whoa, wait, what? They're either watching or record. Oh, it was so dumb. That <laughs> I hate because nothing, nothing makes me think of the future and what we can do with our phones. Like everyone holding flip phones. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, that's possible. Nick Nation said, "Nice podcast. Thanks, Nick. How's it going? We're talking." about Tokyo Drift and the final race right now and this movie Yakuza. is a mess the Yakuza Taylor's oh. very upset about that but it's so stupid <laughs> it drives me nuts it's yeah. did you ever watch the show Weeds no okay it started out fine okay. it was about this stay at home mom who become it, it, it's really like a like a Less like a, almost a comedic Breaking Bad. Yeah, she starts selling like marijuana and this and that. It's like real low key, rich suburb people dealing pot, and then it it turns into this whole thing where she gets involved with the cartel, mm. which it was so dumb to me because I thought like, yeah, the cartel's gonna waste their time with marijuana, which is everyone knows that marijuana is the easiest of drugs. I've done them all. <laughs> marijuana is no big deal. But then the way they downplayed the cartel, this is the Mexican cartel. Yeah. It, 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 uh, if anything, you are harming people into thinking 
they're not that bad of people. You are so foolish into thinking that they. I, it, it just. It's. It doesn't matter because I'm gonna get worked up. Yeah. It's really stupid. I feel like they did the same thing in this. They're. <laughs> so hang on. Nick Nick Nation said, "Did Han deserve to die? Do you think yes. Han? Yeah. He uh, he sh- he should have had a better death. It should have been from the Yakuza. Although yeah, no, I don't want to spoil anything. Should have cut his hands off. Nick, he should have cut his hands off. Taylor hasn't seen the upcoming movie, so don't say what happens. But it comes back. We find out who killed Han, and it's more intentional than you originally think. Um, but yeah, I think Han should have died. But I think he should have died by the Yakuza. I think that was a moment okay. or a death he, they could have used to show like the Yakuza is uh, is not to be messed with. Yeah, is not someone you screw around with. They and should that, have that cut would his have hands made, off for stealing. That would have made Sean's uh, final act of going to him and trying to uh, undo everything even more like had the uncle had they got away the uncle shows up and shoots Han in front of Sean but like not next to each other so Sean can still get away then when Sean goes and meets with him like hey I know we screwed up I want to fix this just let me and DK yeah the stakes would have been much higher yeah but having him die just by a random car crash was kind of goofy Nick Nation also said he loves weeds Stopped watching it, but he said you've got a point. Yeah, I, it was good for like the first few seasons up until the cartel got involved, and it was it just got ridiculous. Yeah, is it what? So it happened in Breaking Bad. Also, was that? Do you have a similar feeling about that, or is that more logical? No, that makes. I, I feel like the the cartel would be much more involved in the meth business than yeah. the marijuana business. I don't know. I feel like like you were saying, marijuana is the lowest level it's the the game i'm drug. not saying it's not but i feel like just to be it, a dealer and this and that but they they tried to make it well here, here's the thing right i think there's probably more people who smoke weed than smoke cigarettes and if you look you think at so i think so you don't in america maybe now yeah i could see that but the uh cigarette companies are still massive they make a ton right. of money and so right. If you're moving, if you're selling weed for probably more, you're probably making a better profit on weed than the cigarette companies make on cigarettes. I would think right. the cartel would want a piece of that. Like, it's just money that they could get involved with, right? I mean, I don't know what weed is. Like, I don't know how they handle it. So, like, you could be right that it's unreasonable. But I don't think the cartel, I think the actual cartel in real life does have their hand in marijuana like for sure yeah as maybe like a, a a side plot not like it's their main source of income yeah i have no idea I, I mean i don't know since i've been involved with the cartel it's it, exactly i got out <laughs> years ago this is back when pot was still mostly illegal so it was a little funner to be around but <laughs> Oh, that's beside the point. Yeah, I don't like how they downplayed the cartel in that show, which I get to an extent because it it's a comedy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just it didn't you didn't have to involve the cartel then. Don't. <sighs> beside the point. Yeah. Well, Nick Nation Where, said Tokyo Drift felt randomly placed in the series, which I agree. I think the series was dead. So you had the it, first one uh, with Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, and yeah. that was done by. Um, uh, what's his name? The director. Uh, I don't know. He did. So he did Triple X when the second one was filmed. Uh-huh. And so that's why Vin Diesel wasn't in the second one, was because he went with the director. Paul Walker did the second one, and that one kind of flopped. So they had. But the I want to know why Tyrese wasn't in Tokyo Drift, and what's that excuse? <laughs> it should have been. Um, the, and so the franchise was kind of dead, but they it was still had somewhat of a name so when justin lynn came and took it he's like let's do something different and that's why they went with drifting because I, th- I think the idea was let's do it's, something drifting it's <laughs> different. Different. different it's yes. uh visually more exciting than a straight out race and it's like well let's try a ten, this a 10 second race how it's become like a derogatory term <laughs> well they make them so long for nothing happening 
Yeah. And so they're like, so well, this could be th- this could revitalize the the thing, but I think Vin Diesel showing up at the end of Tokyo What's Drift. This stupidest thing. Well, I think that like at the time, that was a big deal. People were like pumped. They're like, Vin Diesel's back in it. They're gonna make another one with Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, and it's gonna get back to the roots of the movies. And because no one liked Tokyo Drift when it came out, but having the nope. idea of Vin Diesel coming back into the series and moving things forward, it was like a, a, a big moment. And Let me think, tell you, hang on, uh, how I feel about that. Go ahead. Nick Nation wanted to say, I thought in Weeds the mom got involved with someone in the cartel, and that's why the cartel came into play. She, did she start dating someone in the cartel? Oh, yeah, like the leader. Oh, that makes sense. It was. It, That's it, always the easiest person to get involved with. Right. They start, you start at the top. <laughs> you never have to work your way up. That happens a lot in TV shows where the main character will get involved with the highest of the high of some like terrible organization. And then, yeah. like, Liz Lemon started dating that. Uh, what was he? Uh, some like dictator in uh, Thirty Rock. I think so. Yeah. Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, okay. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel at the end of Tokyo Drift. What's your opinion? Okay, so I, I have a theory on this, and I'm sure it's probably not right, but this is how it felt. Similar to what was the latest Cloverfield movie? Ten Cloverfield uh, the, uh, Paradox. No. Yeah, and how we talked about how it. And, and I don't remember if it was just a theory or if it was something that was real, but it was like, it was its own standalone movie that they kind of rewrote a little bit to make it fit into the, <clears throat> the Cloverfield universe. Yeah. Was that, is that a real thing or was that something we just talked about? No, that's real. It's real for both of them. For Tim Cloverfield Lane and Cloverfield Paradox, they were both separate movies that they were forced into. Uh, being okay. Cloverfield movies. I thought J.J. Abrams was always on 10 Cloverfield Lane, though. That wasn't always the intention to be part of the, no, the well, universe? He, it was made. He bought it from a festival. Oh. Oh. Uh, Nick Quarter said quarter mile races turned into about five minutes of screenplay. That Yeah, that's ridiculous how long it was yeah. like. In the next movie, there's a, a scene on a, an, air, uh, an airfield, like a runway. And yeah. it, it goes for like, they say well, it was a run- seventy mile runway, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, and Max Glaze is here. What's up, Max? How's it going? Have you done your reveal yet? Max is supposed to reveal himself to people on the internet, and I don't think it's happening. Yet. Hey, thanks for the follow, Nick means. Nation. He's gonna reveal himself. He's gonna expose himself to people on the internet. It's a pretty big deal. Is it on? Max. Max is gonna expose himself. Like I'm not okay. sure. I'm not sure what else I can say to make this clearer to you. There's nothing else I need to hear. You you don't have the chat open, do you? No, everything crashed. Yeah, you're supposed to reopen that so when people say what? something, <laughs> you know, and it's not I'm me relying just... on you. Because <laughs> this happens every Listen, time you close let the me chat. Make my open final the point. chat. Open the chat. That way you don't get so confused. Right now. Oh my goodness, you're the worst. Yeah, that should what they be say. this week. Max says. It should be this week, Taylor. He's going to expose himself this week. Now, I, this just sounds like he's, like, undressing. Is that what we're talking about? In a way, it's undressing. It's revealing. What is he revealing? Himself. To, to, to people watching him. I don't know how to make it, this more clear. I don't need it more clear. I'm done with it. <laughs> I am it's what the people want, he says. It's awful movie. And Vin Diesel shows up, and Taylor. Let me. I saw it. I saw it, and I was like, "Oh, this is the stupidest thing." I felt like they shoehorned it in, and but then I really thought, this feels like a racing movie mm-hmm. that was, had nothing to do with Fast and the Furious. Huh. That then, after they had already done it, filmed it, and everything, thought, "Oh, we should make this a Fast and Furious movie, like the Cloverfield movie." But we need a, to find a way to tie them all together. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna re we're gonna film this last scene with Vin Diesel, and all of a sudden, he knows Han, and they were friends and family, and boom, it's part of the franchise. Even though none of it was part of the franchise, it felt so forced and fake to me. 
Like, it was not even part of the same movie. I hated it. Okay. So you're kind of right. They finished filming before they got Vin Diesel to show up. Okay. So they, they had shot the whole movie. They got Vin Diesel to show up to put him in the end. One, to tie it together with the rest of the franchise. Two, to eulogize Han. And to be like, oh, he he died, but, you know, he's part of my family type of thing. Like, he's important. Like, it's not... We're not just moving on about him. Um, and then they... I... But it was always originally going to be a Fast and the Furious movie, but the script may not have been. They may have sold it to Paramount, and Paramount's like, hey, let's just turn this into a Fast and the Furious movie and then make it. But if, once they started making it, it was always going to be a Fast and the Furious movie. Mm-hmm. Um, That's why I felt like at the at the end of the movie, when they went to go show the producers, they're like, okay, good, but where, where does it tie in to... Fast and the Furious and like oh hold on Uh, there's one more scene we haven't got to film it yet we're waiting but guess what we're getting Vin Diesel he's going to tie this whole thing together and as soon as they walked out they're like get Vin Diesel on the phone we screwed up big time we did not put any references to Fast and Furious in this stupid movie well I don't know what you wanted in the rest you want like pictures of Brian popping up on TV or something oh I don't know maybe any of the characters (laughs) Um, that would have been fine Except, Hang but no, not... <laughs> Nick, Nick Nation said... Just let me respond to this real quick. He's okay. heading to bed. Thanks for the entertainment. He'll come check us out again. Said, You're welcome, Nick. Uh, Max said, good luck drifting that huge car in the car park. And Nick said, hey, Max, I don't know you, but if that's what the people want, then go for it. And Max said, thanks. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait to see Max expose himself. You should be excited about this, Taylor. I don't know why. You're not uh, well, I'm pretty excited now. Um, so, yeah, I, the movie was always supposed to be Fast and Furious. I don't mind that there wasn't any of the other characters. I kind of disliked Vin Diesel showing up at the end, but I, I get why they stupid. did it. As soon as they but showed... But Vin Diesel feels stupid. That's the problem. Anytime Vin Diesel's a part of anything, I'm like, well, this Vin has Diesel gotten worse. is stupid. Oh, he's going to punch you. That's fine. Um, I don't I, even care. I remember at the time being excited... Because I had the first one kind of on a pedestal. Pedestal? And a pedestal. A pedestal. What about a, did you have it on a Keras wheel? <laughs> um, it's, Keras wheel sounds right. That doesn't feel that bad. To you, yeah, it definitely sounds right. <laughs> to me, it sounds like a dumb, dumb word. <laughs> it's, but it's not, it's not like the... Like, I heard it when I was a kid, and it, in my head... Karis Will was just what it was called. Like, how it often looked, do you see Carousel spelled out somewhere? Weekly. And, and then most of the time, people call them merry-go-rounds. There was something else that happened. There was another word that I just felt so dumb because I didn't know <laughs> I said it wrong my whole life. But I, I still say Karis Will, not the worst. It's not the worst, it's quite ridiculous, though. All right, but Vin Diesel. Anyways, Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel. It's not as bad as what you call it, Neely. I didn't call it that. You just misheard me. Oh, I don't know about that. All right, Vin Diesel shows up, and they. Oh, man, um, it's I'm, it's so frustrating that you haven't seen the other movies because there's a there's some stuff I have to complain about. Look, about this it's scene. frustrating that I've seen as much as I have. <laughs> They're so good, Taylor. And they only get better from here. You've made it through the rough patch. We're coming into five. Everyone... No. Mu- I promise. Everyone pretty much admits or considers number five to be the best. We get out of these... But then there's five more. No, there's eight total. So we got so five far, plus three. They're making two more. Well, yeah, but they're not out yet. They're not. We're not going to watch those. Or we will, oh. but... Exactly. Not, not yet. Um, yeah. What do you think overall? You've. I think uh, you've given a negative hard. two. What so you... I gave the first one like a negative two, uh-huh. and then too fast, too furious was like a negative three. This is a negative five. Wow. All this the... is the lowest it gets for me. That that's crazy. That, oh, that is... because. 
to actually, there's another. As much as I hate this movie, I, I want to talk about. So there's the race. They're racing down the hill. Yes. And uh, Sean wins, and he narrowly avoids uh, DK's car, like coming smashing down on top of him, and completely wiping out. And then he wins, and like the way I felt like it was getting set up to be like a a cars situation, right? Where there's this big race, like and the then at the end, instead, of, yeah, instead of winning, he like stops to go see if the dude's fine, right? Okay, yeah, no, uh -huh. he doesn't. He just gets out and celebrates while that guy is bleeding out. So many internal injuries are happening, <laughs> and it's everyone's like cheering, laughing. Everything's yeah. fine. That car's probably about to blow up. I don't that care. Dude, that dude pulled a gun on him and was going to have his Yakuza uncle murder him. Exactly. That's why it would have shown that he's the better guy. Oh. But instead, then they just have the Yakuza guy walk up to him and be like, you're free to go. <laughs> when in reality, he'd be like, okay, I kill you now. Yeah, no. Yeah. <sighs> I don't... I feel like just knowing who he is is probably a bad thing. Like, it's something that he wouldn't want. Yeah, the Yakuza exactly. Guy. I think exactly. that would be an issue for him. But also, I feel like he. What would he do with this thing? He doesn't need to be there to find out the results of this stupid, meaningless race. I can't believe you anyone said anyone could have just. Five. That's crazy. For negative anyone, five. For this anyone who's new to our rating system, we go from negative five to five. Zero being it's just average. like an average movie. It wasn't better than you expected or worse than you thought. It's just like, oh, that that's fine. That's what I expected. Taylor saying negative five is. The worst movie imaginable, and that's actually, you know what? Completely unfair. Okay, because the stunts are back. good. The stunts are good in this. No, I disagree. The driving is, I is pretty good. I take it back. I give this one a negative four, and I'm going to reserve the negative five <laughs> for what we're about to talk about next. <laughs> and I'll tell you why once we start talking about it. But for now, I'll I'll give this one a negative four. Yeah, so Max said everyone except for DK is in high school, which is something Taylor had another issue with because he was very upset that they Isn't just Isn't DK seemed... also in high school, though? I don't remember. Max okay, remember. but if not, he's dating a high school girl? Yeah. And her military father's perfectly fine with that. Because at school, at school was just DK's friend, the guy uh, from Westworld. So maybe DK wasn't in high school. He, he might have been out. Him and Han might not have been in high school. Does that make you like this movie more now? Nope. Still <laughs> stupid. Uh, I would give this probably a negative two. I think the story's dumb. The acting's not great. Story's awful. The acting is the worst. But the Luke stunts is black. Are, the stunts are good. Luke is Look, black. Uh, yeah, that's his name. Look, the right? comedian? No, not Luke. Louis Black. <laughs> Lucas Lucas, <laughs> Lucas Black is not that Black. Sean? No. Oh, I'm, hey. sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm dumb. You're right. I'm dumb. I'm the dummy. The, I, I like I said. I don't like to speak ill of the dead, but Paul Walker did not set a very high bar for the acting in this movie. Yeah. And Lucas Black somehow managed to fall miles underneath that. <laughs> he was pretty bad. Uh, Max says yeah, he was bad. Nah, Girl because... was bad. The everyone was bad, literally, except for like, like I said, Bow Wow was like passable, and then even Bow -Wow, I would say Bow Wow was the best actor in this whole movie. I would say the dad was fine, and the dad, but the dad only had like two minutes. Exactly, he didn't have time to ruin it. Max says because Han says, "When are you gonna stop hanging out with these high school girls, D? You gotta up your company." I, I vaguely remember that. I'm yeah, I super impressed remember that. that you could recall that, Max. How many times have you seen this movie, Max? You watch it every day. I am. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, let's let's so dumb. Let's wrap up Tokyo Drift. Um, if you're watching on Twitch, we're gonna continue with. Uh, it's on right now. Did you put it on, or is it just on TV? We're gonna continue with Fast and Furious, so the fourth movie. If you're watching I hate on, the name and sequence in this. <laughs> it's pretty bad. This should have been Four Fast, Four Furious. If you're watching this on YouTube, we will be back next week with that. Or you can go over to Patreon and listen to it right now for a dollar. You get all our stuff a week in advance. And uh, I think that's it. Anything else, Taylor? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Don't mess with the Yakuza.